Happy Thumbs Gaming. Week show. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 4 walkthrough for Sniper Elite V2 and picking up 10 of 10 gold and 3 of 3 bottles along the way. So, want to make a quick note here if you'll look right off the bat, we are 1 gold bar ahead. So, long story short, accidentally grabbed one in a uh, previous walkthrough and uh, although I got it on tape it just didn't seem uh, useless to put it in so or it seemed useless to put it in so anyways here we are we're walking along uh, find the first bottle pretty much right along the way we have gone through and cleared out all of the baddies to make sure that this is uh, easy and not chaotic and the actual first gold bar of the level is gonna be right back here at the end of this pathway so we'll go ahead and pick that up. And as you can see, we're at 32. It's the third bar we pick up that catches us back up. So we'll only be out of sync for just a minute for anybody following along uh, number for number. But once we grab that one at the end of the alley, we're going to go ahead and walk inside. And right behind this desk, in between these boxes and the desk, right below the lamp, you'll find number two. Even though it says number three. I promise you. So once we get to the top of these stairs right here and pick up the third one of the level... Uh, it will not show the gold rush bar because you can see we already have 33 But I promise you you come all the way up to the top Third floor of the left side and it's right where that compass or right where my crosshairs were compass Jeez. all right, so on the right hand bookcase right there. It's right on the bottom floor So we'll go ahead and take a peek at the map there and then we'll make our way back down to the bottom floor so again we apologize for any delay on getting these Sniper Elite V2s out. We're going to try to get them all done before uh, Tuesday's Starhawk release. Not to time date this uh, video or anything, but uh, we're going to try to uh, get this all finished up before then. So that means lots of time tomorrow and lots of time the next day because it is Sunday. So hopefully we'll be able to bust through the rest of these levels tomorrow and the next day and uh, have this all wrapped up for you. So now that I'm done flapping, we're out in the middle of the area here. It's the courtyard right below the big horse. And at the first bunker on the backhand side, you'll find gold number four. Now, mental note, the bottle, second bottle is right behind us on that horse on the right side. But we'll get back to that. Here's gold bar number five. Kind of hidden, but kind of almost uh, easy to stumble across. And then back here in this back corner... Behind this cement block will be gold number six. For a minute here, when I'm running in the game here, I almost am like linking these gold bars together in the sense that my gold rush icon has popped up. Almost is until I get to the next one. The next one, number seven, is going to be in this car back here. Pretty easy find as well. Back right corner of that courtyard, and then we're going to double back. And we're going to go ahead and head into the building on the right-hand side, which is uh, where our waypoint markers are taking us. Now, I thought for sure there would be one hidden out on the rubble out there, but I was wrong. And truth be told, it took me... This was the last one I found. This one right here was the last one I found. It took me forever. I walked by it like five times. So most of you probably picked that one up along the way without even trying because it's almost too much in your way. And now that we have eight, we'll go ahead and move into this other room here. Again, following the waypoint markers. And real quickly, we'll take a peek out and we'll actually blast this bottle over here. So, we have eight of the ten gold so far and two of the three bottles. Quick and easy back here. We'll go grab number nine. All right, making progress on that gold rush. I think I'm just as excited as some of you. It's going to be nice. I think, uh, I think I'll actually get platinum on this one without having to break too much of a sweat. And here we are, number 10. Another one that's pretty much directly in your path. But in the event that somehow you missed it, there you go. There she blows. All right, and the last bottle is right around the corner over here. We're going to take a peek through this window here. And you can actually see it a little bit better once you trigger the cutscene. But I wanted to make sure that we had this all figured out before we got to the cutscene. So after a 
horrible miss there. We'll go ahead and blast that last bottle. And that will pretty much conclude the collectibles for this. But we'll go ahead and trigger this cutscene. And uh, we will play out the rest of the level. Mach es schnell. Mach ich doch immer. Alright, so make sure to take aim on the main baddie there. And after you drop him, it's pretty much just a series of friend his friendlies coming to uh, back him up. So just keep on blasting and protect this guy. We have this on the easy difficulty, uh, just for demonstration purposes and I'm not sure how hard this is on harder difficulties but it's pretty easy your guy has a gun and he does manage to shoot uh, alright and hey again this is not an ownage video <clears throat> this is not to display how good I am or I'm not however after I struggle miserably with uh, a few shots here in a second I kinda redeem myself and you guys feel free to tell me in the comments below if I redeem myself or not So, a few missed shots, and we get the old two for one. So, happily take that, right? Okay, so we're going to keep uh, protecting our guy here from above. You can choose whatever window you prefer. I do uh, move down here because I feel I have a little bit better of a angle on the baddies. Tried to sit down or crouch due to scope movement but I can't see over the brick so I gotta stand up and then I will hit some of these guys and I will miss some of these guys but again uh, if you're watching this video simply for the collectibles you can go ahead and move along now and uh, your numbers should match uh, you know, we have four levels complete plus the prologue so we've got the uh, 40 gold bars now. The number should be on track with mine. And uh, again, I apologize for the uh, miss. Uh, oh, yeah, God, speaking of missing, Jesus. Missed that guy like 80 times. Gotta tell you, when I'm trying to do something productive like this and I miss a bunch, it's extra frustrating. Boom, right in the Dunkin' Dunk. That ah, was more of that. Yeah. That's what I like to call two second abs. One right to the. All right, we're getting close here. And this video does wrap up right around the old 15 minute mark. We're just gonna keep on blasting and keep on blasting. Uh, one little word to the wise here. If you are looking for any suggestions on how to beat this level, uh, when they come charging here in a minute into the building, when he actually makes it to the building, I recommend that Prior to tripping off the cutscene, you set up a bunch of trip mines and land mines. Pretty much set up everything you have. Um, you know, it might even be smart to throw dynamite down in the, like the concentrated areas where the guys pull out of the trucks here in a minute. Um, I did not do that. That was something I just actually thought of as I was explaining this. Booyakasha. But, uh, you know, by putting some dynamite over in this far corner over here where I'm about to scope into... Uh, that would be a pretty good spot to maybe take out a couple guys or even right there you know wherever you can shoot that uh, one bullet hitting that dynamite will kill more than one person is definitely beneficial not that you run out of ammo in the easy mode I'm not sure I would imagine ammo is more scarce in the harder difficulties but I'll have to find out because it's probably gonna be that last trophy for me to beat it on the hardest difficulty I'm still very much enjoying this game uh, that gold bar frustrated the hell out of me, though, I'll tell you that. Let's see here. What else can we talk about? Um, anybody else feel like the uh, well rod doesn't quite uh, hit where you aim sometimes? I don't know if that's how they were back then, or if that's just my user error. Oh, yeah. You're hit. Let me take a look. Be quiet. No time. The rats are coming. You hold them off. I'll be fine. But I need information. Hold them off. If you don't, we post that. All right. Now that uh, we got to hold the fort down, as you can see, I'm gonna 
I got another landmine I had in my inventory, so I'll drop it there. And I got trip mine there, trip mine there, trip mine there. I believe landmine there. And I'm going to come watch the window. So they do come charging up the stairs, and I would imagine that you guys probably found that out at some point. Whether you were smart and put down some stuff like me, or if you simply just got owned from the rear side. Oh, yeah. Getting owned from the rear is never good. Unless that's what you're out for. Ooh, did you see that? Right through the glass. Busted his ass. Alright, this almost gets a little ugly here. These Russian guys, just, they run fast. And, being a sniper, you know, I should figure this out. I should put it on the next level higher up so that I can actually, uh... <clears throat> Have bullet drop and compensate for, you know, leading a, a person. Ooh, that was a nice shot there. There wasn't much room. In that. Found that spot. That's the G spot. The G, you are fucking dead spot. That's right. All right, Motoruskis. These guys are a pain in the ass. Tell you what. Nothing this gun can't handle, though. Ooh. Still love that x-ray. You know, I thought that it would be, get, you know, getting tiresome li as I progress through the story. But now, each one is so unique. It's not like you're seeing the same one over and over again. You know, like some melee combos or stuff. Like, it just gets old after a while. Each bullet is different. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Creeping through the bushes. Alright, we're getting down to the last couple nitty gritties here. My bullets will definitely find their way into the flesh of the bad guys. Ooh. Actually stuck them. See, like some dynamite right out there would be good because when you, when they pulled up, you could shoot the dynamite. Boom. First truck, probably more effective. Yeah, grenades are pretty realistic in throw distance. You cannot hurl one from one side of the board to the other. It's yeah, just pay, look the other way real quick. Okay, now you can look back. All right, now look away again because I think I missed a few more times. It's embarrassing. I call myself a sniper yet I can't hit. Fuck, jeez, get him! There we go. Finally, I took a clip and a half, and it wasn't because he absorbed bullets. It's because I couldn't hit him. Ooh, that was a good one. This one frustrated me too. I felt like I was hitting him every time. But third time's a charm, I guess. Anybody have any suggestions on the ricochet bullet? I've been trying to get it here and there. Haven't got that one as of this video. I'll make sure to put something up if I figure out any good spot or I would imagine a spot where uh, an enemy is unsuspecting you and where you probably have some sort of a higher advantage point would probably be the best. You tell me what you think. The assault was over. We were safe. For now. Thank you for the rescue. But I fear that it was... <coughs> Poor dude. Wolf, as a plan, V2 rockets. Tarbon. Tarbon? Where's that? Not a... <coughs> Not a place. What is it then? <coughs> What's Tobin? Answer me. It's yeah. Shake him. That's gonna help. They both go limp at the same time. You see that? He's like, uh, uh. Got wrong. That's awesome. Or more importantly, what else we just didn't know? Like Tobin. What the hell was that? And what was Wolf's plan? Sweet. All right, I would try to pronounce the last level, but I can't. As you can see there, 10 to 10 gold and 3 of 3 bottles. All right, ladies and gents, that's going to go ahead and wrap up level 4 walkthrough for Sniper Elite V2. Feel free to comment, vote, subscribe if you like what we're doing. Head on over to Twitter, click that follow button for at Happy Thumbs, and uh, find us on Facebook too at facebook.com slash happythumbsgaming. All right, peeps, until next time, see ya.